Good gel, bad gel. Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome back to the first restyle of 2021 and today we're going to be restyling the Holiday Ariel's doll hair from this gelled hard twiggy mess to this. So like I said in my review, Holiday's Ariel's doll hair is just gelled completely to the max. Every single part of her hair is gelled and it's very hard, very crunchy, very flat and overall it doesn't flow nicely at all so we're going to be fixing that today. And she is also rooted quite thinly because as you can see, she is showing her scalp. But no worries Ariel, we're going to be washing, restyling and curling your hair so that you're ready for your Christmas party with Eric. Although it's January now, but pretend it's still Christmas. Alright, now that she's in her nightgown, we are good to go. The first thing is I'm going to be removing her little bow here. And listen to that sound, listen to that crunch, can you hear it? That's how gentle the hair is. And I'm going to be leaving that little uh, band there because it already looks nice and I'm really bad with tying it back anyways. And the first thing we need to do is dampen her hair with a little bit of spraying water and just brush it out. Do you hear that crunching? I'm not making this up. That's how hard it is. and do the same for the other side and you can also um, break down the curls into smaller chunks if it's easier for you that way. And now that the glue is diluting, everything has become so sticky. It's uh, ew. Alright, so I am not a gel hater by the way because doll hair, sometimes they do need product to keep the a style in shape. But even if it's gelled, look at how that one is executed. Like, flawless, perfection, and it's still gelled. And look at the other one, so. Good gel, bad gel. All right, we're moving on to our favorite part, which is boy washing. Ideally, this is best done under the sink, but for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna do it in my room. So I've got a big bowl here where I'm gonna be pulling the, uh, pouring the hot water in, and I've also got a second bowl with just uh, you know lukewarm temperature water for us to rinse it later. And we're gonna go right into dipping. I usually like to dip for about uh, 10, 15, up to 20 seconds. And then after that, I would pull it back out and give it a little brush. And see how the water is already turning murky because the, the glue is, you know, diluting. This is so hard to do on camera. <laughs> That's me struggling. And then we can put it in the normal water to give it a little rinse. And this part is optional, but I still like to give the doll hair a little bit of hair conditioner to just, you know, wash out the gunk and the glue a little bit more. I don't use shampoo on doll hair unless it's a dirty hair that needs to be cleaned and washed because shampoo usually have like cleaning, dirt removing agents in them. So it's not really good for the doll hair when it's not needed. And you can wash the rest under the sink or on your in your room in the middle of the night up to you all right now we're moving on to the bang i left the bang as last because i wanted the water to cool down a little bit because we want to remove the gel but not entirely because we're going to be using that gel to our advantage later when we style her bangs Alright, so her hair is done being washed and you can give it a little brush if you'd like or if there are any uh, tangles in there during the washing process, you can get rid of them now. Alright, we're gonna start off with the styling with her bangs because like we said, we left a little bit of gel in there. So right now it's like the perfect uh, balance where the hair is soft and wet enough to you know, comb and style it to the way we want it, but there is still gel in the hair. So once we're done styling, when the hair dries, it will dry back into the new shape that we have styled. So that's a neat trick that I've learned. So it's almost like a shortcut. So you don't even need any tools, it's just a brush and your fingers and you can style it the way you want. 
I struggled with this a little bit because I wanted the shape to be just like how it was in the movie. It's kind of like swept over to the side and it's kind of a little bit lower on her uh, forehead. But I, I think I got it. So we're back after a few hours. I waited for her hair to dry a bit. And her hair is actually quite long once it's straightened out. It goes almost all the way to her knee, so that's good. And the bang have also uh, dried back into the shape that we have styled, so I'm quite happy with how it turned out. And if the gel in the hair is not enough, you can always aid it with a little bit of hairspray. Right now it's time to curl her hair! And another thing is you don't necessarily have to wait for her hair to completely dry um, because the, the next step of curling your hair uh, involves damping her hair back anyways. But it's a thing that I like to do because I like to wait for the hair to fully dry so that I can judge how thick or how full it is. And then I can base my um, styling on how it's dried into. So it's just like a, a thing that I like to do, but you don't necessarily have to wait for the hair to dry. If you're short on time, you can just move on right to styling once it's uh, done being washed. So we're gonna be curling your hair with a curling wand, all right? So a few cautions about curling your doll's hair with a wand because the quality or the material of your doll hair is very important. Uh, most companies like Mattel and other doll companies uses uh, Saran or Kanikalon. Both Saran and Kanikalon, from my experience, doesn't handle heat too well. They tend to melt off when applying too much heat. But Disney Store doll hair usually uses nylon hair for their dolls. And from my experience, nylon seems to uh, handle heat much much better than the other two but you know remembering these hair types and etc can be confusing sometimes so what I like to do is a little trick when I cannot tell what type of hair it is is that I would um, take a strand or a lock of hair from way beneath the head like preferably the last uh, layer of hair and I would test it out on that little lock or strand. As you can see there, I have tested out that lock. And as usual, the Disney Store nylon hair was able to handle the heat. The reason that I pick this strand is because in case things don't go the way we planned and the dark hair kind of melts off, it's easier to hide that way since they're all the way down below the hair. So you, if you mess up, you can just cover it with the other hair and be like, Haha, no one saw that. <laughs> Because I have experiences where I've messed up hair on like on the top layer and it melt off and it's just like impossible to hide. The second important thing is to find a curling wand that has many heat adjusters, especially one that can go very, very low. As you can see, mine even goes all the way up to one because a lot of human ones does come with like a dangerous level for dull hair, so you don't want that. And I like this size of the barrel as well because it's a uh, small size for like a beach curly kind of thing for humans, but for dolls, it kind of gives you the perfect uh, standard ringlets when you curl their hair. So this is a good one. When I start, I like to uh, separate out the hair into different layers. So we have like the lower layer, the middle layer, and the top layer so that it's easier to work with. And the cool thing about nylon hair is that even after you curl it, it will retain its shape. As you can see, I'm brushing it out, but the curl and the wave remain, so yay nylon! And I also like to separate out the hair into smaller chunks so that it's easier and more manageable to work with. Because if you do a, a lock that is too big, it can mess up the overall look of the curl. And now we're going to dampen the hair a little, uh, a little bit with a spray bottle so that it's a little bit wet and it has some protection against the heat. And also I find it easier to work with when it's wet because the hair kind of forms into clumps and there are no flyaways to deal with. And now we just uh, curl, I suppose. <laughs> Um, the important thing that I always struggle are the ends. As you can see, I'm struggling there because the ends are important to be included in the loop of the curl. If not, the, the hair is going to be curly, but the, the ends are going to be like straight. And actually, the first uh, lock was actually a little bit too big, so I'm going to be uh, going uh, more smaller for the other ones. More smaller? Smaller, I mean. <laughs> And uh, usually uh, some of the viewers don't like it when I skip it to the end, so that's why I included the entire time lasp pro 
process here so if you are too um, impatient to wait uh, you can skip it a little bit forward to the end I suppose but if you enjoy watching time lapse enjoy In reality, it actually took me about an hour to curl the hair and at about 30 minutes to style the hair so my back was like killing me by the time this video was done filming. So right now I'm just combing the hair a little bit to blend the curls with each other and look a little bit more natural and I was a bit unhappy about how the front curl has turned out so I recurled it a little bit as you can see right here. And then we have Ariel with her completed look so I'm really happy with how everything turned out. Uh, for the front bit I unravel the curls into smaller chunks so that they look a little bit more tamed down I suppose. But in the back I left them as big as they could be because I wanted it to be big and full just like how it was in the movie. So right now let's put her back into her dress shall we for the final look. So here is Ariel back in her dress for the final look so I'm really happy with how everything turned out. For the final finishing touches I used a little bit of hair wax and run it through her hair just to give it a bit of a sheen to it and also to control the flyaways so that it looks more uh, neat. And I'm also happy with how the bang turned out as well because the bang for me was the most important part because it's just so iconic for Ariel and I just wanted to get it right and I think I got it right somehow. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this restyle guys. So this is my first full on restyle in years. So I was worried that I might not be able to pull this off. But I guess I pulled through even though I struggled a little bit here and there. But I'm really happy and I just love the feeling of doing restyle. So I hope this is the first of many restyles to come in 2021 here on my channel. So I'm looking forward to doing more. But anyways, that was my restyle on the Holiday Ariel doll, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. You can also check me out on Instagram at Creates for more before and after photos. You can also thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe here on my YouTube channel so that you get more toy and doll and hair video content in your video feeds. But right now, thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year and I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!